KDE Desktop Environment was started in 1996 to give Linux users an open source option to the then prevalent but proprietary CDE desktop environment. Since its first release, there has been huge improvement and the feature-rich desktop environment with lots of customization options has all the potential to be the ultimate desktop environment for a Linux user. And it also gives serious competition to the desktop environments across all platforms including Windows and Mac. So what's up everyone? You're watching XPS Tech. I'm Vineet and this is the review of KDE desktop environment. Now I have already done a video on popular desktop environments in Linux a long way back wherein I have covered the theory part of KDE desktop environment so I'm not going to repeat that here. Instead in this video we'll understand the features of KDE through a live demo. Although I do recommend you to check out that video as well by clicking on this link on your screen. Alright so this is the KDE Plasma version number 5.4.3 running on the latest and updated tumbleweed version of OpenSUSE Linux. Now before we begin exploring the desktop environment, first let's understand KDE. The KDE desktop environment consists of three parts. KDE workspace, which is essentially the GUI part and the current version is called KDE Plasma 5. Next is the framework which contains KDE libraries and services required to run KDE applications. And at last you have the KDE applications, which are the softwares that comes bundled in with the KDE desktop environment. All right, now let's check out the Plasma workspace. Now this is the default layout of Plasma. At the bottom you have the familiar taskbar or in KDE it's called the panel. Now running from left to right, you first have the applications menu, which gives you a list of all the program installed on your computer in their respective categories and on the left you have the shortcuts to your favorite programs and at the bottom you have the regular logout, restart and shutdown buttons. Now you can change the layout of KDE menu to a dashboard style by right clicking on the KDE icon and choosing alternatives and then choose application dashboard and here you have all the programs in a dashboard style. Now you can also Change the layout of applications menu to a launcher style. Again, going to alternatives and choosing application launcher. And here you have the layout of the applications changed to a launcher style. All right, so you can change it to your personal preference and according to the size of your screen. Next is the virtual desktops. Now by default, you get two desktops, but you can add more desktops or delete them by going into the virtual desktop settings. Now the quickest way to go into a setting is by using the KRunner applications. So on the desktop, you start typing your search text and here you have settings for virtual desktop. Let's click on it and let's increase the number of desktops to four and click on apply. And there you have four virtual desktops. Now talking more about the KRunner application, this is an extremely powerful and useful application that not only searches your files and folders or a setting in your OS, but also can be used to run a shell command or to open a web page. So if I type in youtube.com, so this will open the browser and give you the web page. So extremely powerful application. And if you're not on the desktop, you can invoke KRunner by pressing Alt and Spacebar keys together. All right, next you have the space for your open windows or open programs. Here also you get three alternatives to get only the icons of the open applications. Or you can get a list of all the open application in a window. Here you have the list of all the Opal application. Apparently I have only one. All right, now let's close this and change the setting back to the task manager style. All right, next on the right hand side, you have the system tray with notifications icon, shortcuts to your Bluetooth and volume settings. And then you have the regular time and date settings. Now you can also add and remove shortcut icons from the system tree, but this is pretty simple and I'll leave that. Now on the extreme right, you have this button which can be used to move this panel on any side of the screen or you can adjust the height of the panel or you have more settings for your panel. 
Now getting back to the desktop, there are many more options to customize your desktop as per your liking. Now you can go to the configure desktop setting and choose a different theme for your desktop. So if you do not like the dark theme, you can choose lighter or bright theme and click on apply. As you can see, we now have a pretty bright and a light theme or you can individually change the desktop theme or the cursor theme. You can also change the color of your windows, your title bar, the menu bar. So let's say we want to have this Norway color scheme and click on apply. So as you can see, the title bar color has changed. So is the color of the window background. Now you can also change the font, the icons, the application style. So instead of breeze, you can have the GTK, which is the style used in GNOME desktop environment. So there are tons of settings. You can also change the startup and shutdown background and the animation. Now on the desktop, you can also add widgets. Now this is the widgets menu. Again, you have lots of options here. Now let's say we want to use the widget clock and also use the, the notes widget. You can also resize it and move it to the corner. Same goes with this. Let's move it to the corner. So you can add n numbers of widgets on your desktop. One more thing that you have in KDE is the activities desktop, which is like a virtual desktop, but you can have different wallpapers and different sets of widgets in each activity desktop. So for example, let's go to activities. And right now I only have one activity desktop. Let's create another one and let's name it as home. Now let's go to this desktop. And here I can choose a different wallpaper. Let's say this one. And also we can have different set of widgets here. So let's say we want to have a web browser. And let's resize it. And now if we go back to our previous activities desktop, you can see that we have retained our previous wallpaper and previous widgets. So this is also a very useful way of having a virtual desktop. Now that was all that I wanted to show you as far as the workspace is concerned. Now as I said, KDE also comes bundled with some of the KDE applications. So as you can see, you have KTorrent, KWallet Manager, K notes, K net attach, K mouse tool, and lots and lots of other important applications that comes pre-installed with the KDE desktop environment. So that was all about KDE. Thank you guys for watching this. If you like this video, kindly press the like button. If you have any comment or suggestion, please type that in the comment box. And if you want to see more such videos, kindly subscribe to XPS Tech channel. Thank you again for watching this and I'll see you next time.